Ooh, kitty. Ooh, big kitty. Now back with the pet project, the real life Catwoman, Tammy Trujillo. And we're still on the air. That's the good thing. Just so you know, we may be leaving the airwaves for a short time because there is a power situation here at our location in Sunland, California. And if we do drop out on you, keep checking back because our backup generators will kick in just as quickly as they possibly can and kick us back onto the air. But we are still alive and going here right now on the Pet Project with Martine Collette, the founder and director of the Wildlife Way Station. And Martine, we're talking about the situation that you find yourself in today. Um, you've called it the final chapter because there's a there's a big money crunch and facility crunch on you and I mean you're you're not no pun intended crying wolf here no Tammy um, you know we have never been a very um, rich organization and in the past we've had some problems uh, meeting our obligations but I have never seen anything like this and you don't raise $142,000 out of thin air. It has mm -hmm. to be a very concentrated energy and a concentrated effort. Without that, the way station cannot survive. This economy is so horrific that people are trying to make their own ends meet without being able to help the way station. And that's why I'm saying this is kind of like if we don't solve this problem, this is the final chapter. Something else that the way station has always been able to do up until the last few years that I thought was so super is if somebody encountered uh, a wild animal, I'm not talking a tiger in your backyard, but I'm talking about an injured possum or a squirrel or a raccoon or, you know, some of the wild animals that are pretty common up around this, this part of Southern California, they used to be able to bring them to you uh, to, to help if the animal's injured or, or needed some sort of assistance. And that no longer has happened, has been happening either. No, we need that conditional use permit to go back to doing that kind of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we called, you know, recently uh, we found a squirrel that was just kind of laying on a rock by our house. And, uh, we, you know, we, we, we take in anything, too. And my first thought was, call the way station, because we couldn't figure out what was wrong with this little squirrel. And, of course, we couldn't do that. But my husband and I, it was our first thought, because you've always been there to help. When and of course we have a hospital here and yes. we have veterinarians here and we've got technicians here and we can certainly help. Yeah. And but that to do that we need to reopen. Okay. So we have we've got a we've got amount of effort here to to talk to people across the country and we have listeners on the other side of the world as well. Um what can they do, Martine? They, they can donate. That's the first thing. And again, we're talking, if you can spare, and I know money is tight. It's tight for everybody right now. But you know what? If you can kick in five bucks, that don't think that's not going to help. Martine, it's going to help a lot, isn't it? It will. It will. And most people think, well, you know, I'm just a single person. What can I do? No, single people can do wonders. Because mm -hmm. if all single people out there unite, it's a terrific, strong uh, response and it helps hugely. Now you've got a really easy way to do this as well. Um, you can text the word wildlife, wildlife, W I L D L I F E to 20222 on your cell phone. That will be an instant $10 donation to the Wildlife Way Station. How much simpler could it possibly be? Wildlife to 20222 on your cell phone. An instant $10 donation will go to Martine at the Wildlife Way Station. It will show up on your next bill, so you'll know what that is. But that is such a simple way to do it, Martine. And that is so appreciated from anybody who would like to do that, give us an early Christmas present. And the it other thing, you know, wonderful. if you can't donate money and you are a contractor, if you can do some of the things that Martine was talking about moments ago. And give us, give us again your wish list of services because anybody who can come out and provide these services to the Wildlife Way Station is really putting money in the Wildlife Way Station's pocket at this point because you won't have to raise funds for that. You can take your funds that you raise and put them toward the animals or toward other things. So give us your wish list of what kind of contracting services you need right now. We could certainly use a, a, an architect. We need to do a plot plan for a site plan for L.A. County. We can certainly use an engineer. We certainly can talk to someone who knows anything about sewage reclamation um, plants or sewage reclam uh, reclamation machines. I'm not even sure what they call them properly. 
um, we can talk to any contractor that does road resurfacing. Now, we have our own equipment here. It's just, you know, we need the expertise, and um, that would be a huge help. Actually, that would be our next major big thing if we could get it. Fix our roads mm -hmm. so that the fire department is going to be happy with us and allow us to continue to apply for the conditional use permit. So those okay. are some of the things we could use right now. Well, you know what? Um, there are so many people that do that kind of work out there, Martine. And, you know, th this is a, a kind of a downtime for a lot of people because of the weather, you know, in terms of doing outdoor work on places. So this this should this should we not also be need hard plumbers, to do. Patty, I forgot about that. Tell me, we need plumbers. Plumbers. Plumbers okay. who understand sewage systems and plant but, um Plumbers who understand, um, you know, we need to put six-inch pipes towards our um, um, fire hydrants. Okay. okay. So, you know, we could use plumbers to do something like that. That would be wonderful. So if you have any of these trades that we're talking about and you can donate some time, um, what a wonderful, wonderful way to do some kind of a service for your community because the wildlife way station you've been there so long martine you've done so many things for the community as well this is our chance to give back to you we've got to do it i mean my goodness we got lions and tigers counting on us here martine we do we, we do. do and, we do. and uh, it, without the people this will not survive tammy and that is the god's truth well i know you you are not going to throw the towel in until there is nothing left to do period paragraph i know you true i will do everything i can i will do everything to help ourselves i will talk to people you know there might be people with creative ideas i will talk to people i will approach this to whatever method i need to approach to be able to save the wildlife way station and martine you'll be back with us on the pet project next week and every week until we get this situation resolved and make sure those animals are safe and you're not losing your mind anymore trying to do this by yourself. So thank you so much, Martine Colette. All the information you need about the Wildlife Way Station can be found on her website, wildlifewaystation.org. Also on our Facebook page, Tammy Trujillo's Pet Project. Martine, you hang in there. Thank you, Tammy. God oh, bless. God bless you. We will talk to you next week here on The Pet Project. We're hitting a break right now, and we're still on the air. Again, we are suffering some power situations here, but stick with us. The Pet Project, the show your pet wants you to listen to. Mm -hmm.